What's up guys and welcome to tutorial 14. In this tutorial we're going to be learning about um, message boxes in Visual Basics and basically what a message box is is that annoying thing you get on Internet Explorer if you still use that uh, crappy browser. Um, it's a thing that pops up and it says uh, blah 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 you need to fix some kind of security ear just all the Internet Explorer things that say and it's really annoying um, that's pretty much why I don't use that browser that's pretty much what a message box is and now we're gonna learn how to display a message box and I already typed out the code here because it was kinda long we're not too long but it made the tutorial too long um, this is a lot easier than it looks basically what we did is we created a static variable, variable called int magic number and we are gonna make this number random and why we made it static is so the number doesn't keep changing because then our code will be useless so basically a static number that doesn't change and it's random and then we made another integer saying the guess the guess that we typed in to this text box and I made a button and a text box and pretty much what these two are going to be useful for we're going to say um, when you click this see what's inside this and then tell us if our number is high or low and how you type um, a message box and you show it on the screen you type message box dot show and then you type in this first thing and you type it in quotation marks and what you should put in this is the um, the value of what you want your text box to hold like um, if you wanted your text box whenever you displayed it to say congrats you guessed the number that's pretty much what it'll say in the text box um, the little square that pops up and then you do a comma and then the next thing you do is you put two more quotations and then you put the title of your message box pretty much what it'll say up here where you see message box and Microsoft Visual Basics that's what will show that's where guests will show now this code right here um, basically all I did was put if the guess which is the number that we enter in the text box is equal to the randomly generated magic number then show this message box congrats you guessed the magic number but if this is not true then we're gonna do this and now what or this right here now what this does is say if the guess is less than the, the randomly generated magic number then we're gonna say your guess is too low but what if the if what if your guess is bigger than the magic number then we're gonna say your guess is too big and then what we did we just put an else thing right here saying there was a mistake pretty much um, there's nothing really to explain about that it's just to be safe and now that we've explained this code, let's run it. And we're going to start out with 5. So now it's telling us our guess is too low. That means the INT magic number is bigger than 5. So we're going to do a bigger number. And it's still too low. Let's keep, we'll keep going up until it's gives us and now 8 was the magic number and see if we do it again the magic number never changed because it's static now what if we wanted to generate a new magic number and just throw our uh, we wanted to mess with someone and we made this program say it's a guessing game and we wanted to just mess with them so we're going to change this to dim after we stop our debugging and now every time you hit the button it should declare the number again so we're gonna hit two and then oh I guess it's too low so let's go to one now it's gonna keep saying your guess is too low and every time you um, type a new number it's gonna change the number the INT magic number is gonna change so if we stayed on eight every time you hit this it's gonna give you a new number and eventually it will be eight um, but it's just going to really mess with someone. Anyways, that's pretty much all of message boxes. And that's all for this tutorial. I will see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe and goodbye.